What's up? What y'all doing? Making movies. For real? Yeah, what y'all doing? I'm making movies right. too. All right. Yeah, I'm in the All movie. Right. Shoot. I got a void that needs filling and some time to kill Why don't you meet me at Kigoba and I'll cover the bill Cause you know I'm gonna spend the money I don't have And if one's throw me olive branches I don't grab Put the water in the pot what and boil all of it out What's the point of living if I don't contribute? Tell me Can to I go, have, uh, one rainbow to you with Find myself, I'll buy myself again with nothing to do Early morning bagel run I've got some kind of kind of bad news about 368. I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal, but it just kind of sucks. See, construction was supposed to start today with like contractors and construction workers and plans and architects and all that stuff. But I just found out last night that um, there's like an issue with our insurance, so we had to delay by like maybe a week, maybe up to 10 days. I guess it's not that big of a deal. It just kind of sucks, but. Here at 368, we do things by the books. We don't take chances, we follow the rules. Now, I have always said that the gear doesn't matter when it comes to telling stories, making videos, YouTube, and everything in between. The story you tell is always more important than what you use to tell it. Steven Soderbergh, big like Hollywood movie director. He's the guy who directed Ocean's Eleven and like 20 other huge movies. He shot his latest feature film like a proper thriller, movie theater, horror movie. I'm not crazy. He shot it on a cell phone. And he's famously said that the future of filmmaking is on cell phones. And that's a vision I really subscribe to because I think it's something that, that's accessible to all of us. And it's also a very good segue to a new segment that's going to come to you every Tuesday here on 368 called Tech Review Tuesday. Dan, roll your new sweet intro. Casey asked me to make some sort of a kick-ass intro for his Tech Tuesday segment, but I completely forgot. I'm not really worried though because he's not going to see this until this video goes live. Next week's Tech Tuesday intro sequence will be sick, I promise. Hope you guys like that intro. Dan's been working on it all week long. All right, now on Facebook, I'd been seeing this video pop up, like a really annoying video, and it was for this hyper zoom lens that you can put on your cell phone. Watching that, I was just like, there's no fing way that thing works. So I went ahead and ordered one. Record of a better world together with you. There's a lot of stuff in this box. I got this whole kit off of Amazon for $35.49. Maybe that's why I'm so skeptical of it. Okay, back to the unboxing. At 35 bucks, I just don't trust that it's gonna be able to do what they say it's gonna be able to do. But I, I maintain an open mind. Leaving it up before I'm giving it in. It's just water in the cup, don't get too much for the spins. And there's good people around me, acquaintances to the kin. Man, I'm enjoying so much, I can't tell which way to grin. Man, I'm enjoying so much, can't tell which way to grin. I mean, it's a chilly April day, Sam, but that's a little dramatic. Longtrons, goggles, face mask. I mean, they're cool goggles, Sam. But that's, uh, <laughs> that's February clothing right there. All right, let's, I need some place like cinematic. I was thinking the far end of this pier. Let's go. So this goes on to here, presumably like Just this. Just like that, center it perfectly. Okay. And now this just kind of screws screw on. Screw that on there. Oh, and then one of those is an adapter to maybe make it wider. 
Dude, I can't believe you actually fell for like one of those Facebook ads. Like you see them all the time and you're like, that's just garbage. It's like, it's the new as seen on TV <laughs> thing, but I gotta it's say, 35 like, bucks, you, man. you actually bought it and dude, if you actually get this centered properly, all right, let's test it. All right, so this is gonna be a side-by-side -side comparison of a $35 Facebook infomercial lens on a cell phone and a $1,000 super zoom lens on a $5,700 Canon camera body. It's not a total piece of shit. For 35 bucks as like sort of a gag, but it it's, it actually works. That's the thing, that you put it on and you can get, what is it, 20X zoom on here, 18X zoom. Shot diversity is wildly underrated when it comes to making YouTube videos and having a long lens is important and if all you have is a cell phone, this could prove helpful. So I very gently, very reluctantly recommend this total piece of shit, $35 lens, because it's sort of, Almost works. Hi Casey! Later! It kinda worked. And uh, now we have a fun family activity planned for the afternoon. I got a void that needs filling and some time to kill. Why don't you meet me at Kigoba and I'll cover the bill? Cause you know I'm good at spending money I don't have. And if I once throw me olive branches I don't grab. Put the water in the pot and boil all yeah. of it out. <laughs> See? What's the point of living if I don't contribute to drought? Go ahead, leave me at the bottom and I'll float to the top. I'll write a hook, line, sink, or still commercially flop. Got a heart on my sleeve, but I don't know whose it is. Liberty Science Center, it's like a children's museum. The trick to this place is, you come about two hours before closing, that way no one else is here. Brandon, what do, what do I need to show my daughter in here? Uh, how old is your daughter? Three. Three? Yeah. She definitely needs to keep playing with the trains. Okay. Uh, I would take her downstairs to the third floor, go to Eater Bean, that's our miniature zoo, and if she's over 42 inches, she could definitely go on the infinity climber over here. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I don't know where it's from and I don't know who to give it to. It could be you, it could be someone else. You could put it on yours or put it on the shelf. I could go it alone or I could use some help. I could bring you home or I could bring myself. And if you tell me to go, I'll probably listen to you. Find myself all by myself again with nothing to do. I just have got to, can't write it down. Don't really know how, I've got to figure it out. Sometimes I float up, sometimes I drown. You are... You're this tall. Look. I'm sorry, honey, you're not tall enough. That's heartbreaking. Come on, let's go in the dark tunnel. Hi, is it our turn? Ready? Okay, let's go. Whether to talk to you, I tried before, but only managed to balk at you. In my mind, there's a fence that I'm knocking through. Go, but then a minute, and my jaw is locked on you. Look so confident when you're in that. I bite tongue hard and flinch because I've been that. Where were you today, man? Sleeping. These edits are the best thing we've ever done. The best work we've ever done. Guy who bites hard on bright shots and finds myself on tomorrow's episode of 368. This is you, right? I'm expressing with my full capabilities And now I'm living in correctional facilities Cause some don't agree with how I do this I get straight and meditate like a Buddhist I'm dropping flavor, my behavior is hereditary But my technique is very necessary Blame it on ice